Hey guys, now you join me here on my floor because we're going to have a look inside this big bag of pleasure that I've just been to pick up from town. And if you've read the video title, you'll be aware what this is. This is the new Sony PlayStation VR. Now, I haven't really bought all that much into the VR hype. Uh, obviously, I tried it first time around back in the 90s. And you know, I actually did a, a recent video on my channel of trying out VR from 1991. I'm a bit unconvinced as to whether it's going to take off this time or not, but... I thought I'd bite the bullet and just, you know, go out and try out a Sony PS4 VR set. And uh, I've never tried one before. If it's crap, I figure, you know, I can always sell it on maybe. Um, but I am quite interested to see how it is because a lot of people have kind of, you know, give mixed opinions on this. And uh, this is not going to be like a, an in-depth review or anything like that. It's literally going to be first impressions, unboxing and setup really. So first of all, I'll show you the uh, games I bought with it. I've got a couple. Uh, Drive Club VR. Now, I've got the original Drive Club on the PS4. And it is one of my favourite racing games on the platform. And I've actually heard pretty good things about this. Um... I've also heard that out of any PS4 game, this is the game that's most likely to make you motion sick, so I guess I'll find out if it affects me or not in a, in a few minutes. Uh, I also got Until Dawn, um, Rush of Blood this is. Now, Until Dawn was a horror game that came out last year. Uh, really enjoyed it, actually. Um, played that right through in about, about a week, actually, I think I did. Uh, and this is meant to be pretty scary. I've heard as a game it's not that amazing, but it was only 15 quid. And it's meant to be a good like you know demo of the technology, so I love the original un Until Dawn. And also, I got Super Stardust Ultra VR. Now, I used to love like, you know, Stardust and Super Stardust on the Amiga back in the old days. And I quite like the PS4 version, so it'd be interesting to kind of play, you know, asteroids using a virtual reality headset, technically. Um, I also got the... PlayStation camera with it as well, which you need for the uh, PS4 VR. That's about 50 quid. Um, I haven't got a PlayStation Move kit, actually. Um, you know, they're all about 100 quid for those in the shop, but I can get an old one off, uh, off eBay for a lot cheaper than that, I think. So for now, I'm just going to use a controller. And then, I'm getting this in on camera. Here is the main box. I oh, nearly dropped it. <laughs> the Sony PS4 VR. And it is actually, it's got quite a bit of weight to the box, actually. Um, I managed to get this from an independent shop called Playtime. I'm going to give a shout out to those guys. Uh, Game and Sainsbury's and all that had sold out, but I actually got a few in stock. So what we'll do is we'll bring the camera in a bit nearer and uh, I'll show you what's in the box. Okay, guys, so hopefully you can kind of see what's going on here. The lighting in this room is pretty dreadful, but I have got some uh, LED lights on that hopefully will let you see what's going on. I figured, first of all, we'd open the, um, the camera here. So there is obviously all of these little uh, sticky labels that we love to shove on everything these days. So, we'll get this off first. Try not to damage the box too much. So this uh, this camera originally came out, I believe, with uh, when the PS4 came out. Um, I never got one back then, but like the move, they've kind of repurposed some of the older um, accessories to be compatible with VR, which you know isn't a bad move, I guess, if you've already got them. So it's going out and buying two different versions, but I never got one of these back then. So, not much in this box really. Um, we have a little mount there for the camera by the looks of it. It's a stand, I guess. And yeah, that kind of moves. Um, and also the camera itself here. There you go. With all of this uh, plastic covering everything. So, that's the camera itself. Now we'll open the main box. Uh, and actually, I think I can get straight in here started try and do this quickly because I know uh, the anticipation can be a bit much for some people oh great tore the box so <laughs> resale value gone down already if I do decide to sell it chances are I probably won't very rarely get rid of anything so it should just pull out I imagine yeah, it's really flimsy cardboard, actually. On camera, it does kind of look like it's quite a sturdy box, but it's really, really thin, actually. So, let's have a look inside. It seems that's just kind of packaging for the, the main box anyway. This kind of pushes back here. Trying to bash my microphone there. Yeah, then you open this. That's yeah, a pretty cool box, actually. Then, we get another one inside. It's really weird packaging on a big manual as well. So, I guess that's kind of the setup guide. Yeah, and the actual processor unit looks a bit like a mini PS4. I've seen pictures of that, looks pretty cool. So yeah, we'll put that to one side for now. And then we have uh, various pull-out sections of the box here. So it's in this one. 
power cable. It's pretty standard, two pin. Nothing too exciting there. What's in this one? I bet this is the uh, the processing unit. Yes, it is. So we have a, uh, looks like a USB cable there to connect it to the PS4. Um, some earphones, really cheap crappy ones, as you'd expect. Uh, power supply and brick there. And here is the, uh, the processing unit that comes with it, which does look you know, like, a, like a mini PS4. You can see that there, Put some light on it. Hard to see when it's black. But there you go. So it looks kind of stylish, actually, I've got to say. And again, you know, all this uh, plastic on everything, which I know some people leave this stuff on, but yeah, let's take it off. Bugs me if it's on. So a couple of HDMI inputs there as well. A little fan on the back by the looks of it. This is essentially a mini computer that I think does the, the brunt of the processing um, for the virtual reality. Yeah, headset um, leaflet there with uh, yeah. How to get help online manual, a VR demo disc here as well, which apparently has got quite a lot of demos on it to you know really show you um, a few of the headsets capabilities. What we got here then a screen cleaning cloth. Nice of them to include that. Don't get that all that often these days. A couple of bits of warranty information here by the looks of it. Uh, what we got here more HDMI cable. There's a lot of wires with this thing. A, another HDMI cable. This looks like. Yeah, it's a male and female one, I guess. Uh, actually, what's on this end? Yeah, I imagine this is to, uh, it looks like a long lead. This probably connects into the, um, the headset itself, so you can walk around the room with it. And then, the only thing left in the box is the headset itself. So, another wire <laughs> connected to it here. It's a lot of cables. And here it is. The PS4 headset, yeah, with more plastic stuck to it. Um, it doesn't feel quite as weighty as I expected, actually. It's really light, which I guess, you know, I was going to say it feels a bit cheap. <laughs> um, but for something you're going to wear on your head, I guess you probably don't want it to be too heavy, do you? Um, but yeah, in terms of build quality, it does feel a bit flimsy, I've got to say. And there's a button on the bottom there. So let's have a look around the back. See, it's where you put this round your head there. Then you've got the uh, the viewfinder inside there. So yeah, it's uh, it feels yeah quite lightweight. It feels like it could break quite easily. I've got to say. Um, so try and be careful with it. Right, guys. So uh, the setup probably took me about 15 minutes. I thought I'd give you a quick look at exactly what's involved. As uh, <laughs> as I did mention when I unboxed it, there is a lot of cables. So you have the um, little CPU unit here on top of the uh, PS4 and it kind of complements the design of it. I've got the original PS4, not the slim, um, but yeah, look at that spaghetti of cables coming out the back. You can tell that, you know, even though virtual reality has been around since the early 90s, it's still kind of, you know, not at the stage yet where it doesn't need a billion and one cables, you know, it still kind of looks like home VR is a bit in its infancy by the looks of that. And then, um, because there's no USB cables at the back of the original PS4 you have to put it in the front one there as well so as you can see yeah massive spaghetti of cables and then I've got my um, PlayStation camera that needs setting up as well just sitting on top of this Mac mini at the moment um, whole load of boxes and stuff all over the floor uh, I'd better get this tidied up before the missus gets home and then the uh, VR headset just sitting down there now what you have to do is um, you have to turn that on and there is separate power for this as well and uh, then you essentially run your um, PS3's HDMI output, uh, PS4's HDMI output through the processor into your TV. And as you can see at the moment, I'm just uh, downloading um, the VR demo disc. I put that in the drive, but obviously there's gonna be quite a lot of software updates and all that. So um, I'll let it do all that first and then we'll come back and give it a go. All right, so a few updates done. I think the software is all kind of installed properly and everything now. I did actually want to capture the output of this on my Elgato HD capture device so you know you could kind of have me in a little window and watching that but uh, for some reason it won't recognize the output from the uh, PS4 VR so instead I'm gonna put the TV behind me um, I'm gonna be wearing the headset anyway so I can face you guys hopefully now <laughs> 
I've got the included earphones plugged into the remote control here. Um, obviously, they are, you know, like any any product where you get free earbuds with it, they are feel really, you know, cheap. Um, these like the kind of things, you know, you'd probably get with a, an old mini display or a Walkman or something back in the day, you'll know the kind of stuff. So I'm going to put these earphones in now. Um, yeah, they'll do the job. And let's put the headset on for the first time. Now, there's actually a headband here, so... Okay, so you press a button in there and then it kind of expands out. Try and get this on. Okay. And uh, yeah, it actually does feel quite comfortable. Um, I've just got a black screen in there at the moment. As I think on the screen there, it was asking me to uh, connect to it. So we'll put that up a second. Actually, you can't wear it on top of your head. Um, so connect uh, VR and turn on the VR headset. Right, so I need to press this button on here, apparently. It should be that one. Now the lights come on. And it looks like we have life. Still nothing displaying in. Oh, actually, there's something in there now. So we'll do the setup procedure. Okay. You know, I've read um, different reports about this. Some people said that it's uh, it's got pretty bad picture quality, but actually it looks quite quite nice. And yeah, it kind of stays in the center there. Uh, I'm upside down here. <laughs> right, okay, so it looks like it's gonna be using my um, camera on here, so I'm gonna to have to turn around. Um, <laughs> and there you go, noob's mistake, I've got the camera upside down, so I'm gonna to have to turn it around on the tripod. There we go. You can't really tell which way around it goes, though, bizarrely. All right, face me. Put it down a bit. I'm trying to do all this on the floor. Okay. Put on the headphones. You'll experience 3D audio with the headphones, so we'll give this a try. Sorry that I'm uh, sitting with my back to you guys. Move the microphone over here. You can experience 3D audio with the headphones. I hear like the PlayStation kind of music playing at the moment. Uh, okay, if you wear glasses, leave them on. Right, so I need to put this back on now. Okay, <laughs> find the controller. Put on the headset and press. Okay, yep, done that. That's all on. I've got it on my head. Yep, done, 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 done. Yep. Adjust the position of the headset up and down, left and right, until these letters are clear and smooth. Yeah, that'll do for now. This looks slightly blurry, but I don't think there's any like kind of focus control on it, but um, I guess when you actually get into game graphics, it probably won't make all that much difference. Yeah, it feels quite light, you know, it's quite a comfortable headset to wear. Again, the only thing that's annoying is kind of these, you know, massive cables. It's kind of trailing everywhere. But the PS4 VR is actually designed to be, you know, you sit down on your sofa and play it. You don't, um, like, walk around the room like you do with some of the other headsets. So, you know, it probably doesn't matter as much. But, yeah, it'd be nice if VR eventually gets to the stage where you don't need all of that CPU unit and, um, you know, you don't need wires traipsing across the room for the uh, home consumer units. That would be quite nice if it was all done kind of wirelessly. Now, I think at this stage, um, I'm only seeing like spinning around dots. I guess it's, uh, you know, setting up the VR headset or calibrating or something. So let's take this off a moment and see what's on the screen. Yeah, I'm seeing the same thing that you guys are there. You can see it's all lit up. It's something out of Tron, doesn't it, or something? So we'll give that a moment. And it might look a bit blurry because, um, actually, it's a bit warm in here, and uh, yeah, actually the, uh, the earpieces on there look a bit sweaty, so I'm going to get the included cloth and just give it a quick clean. I imagine that's my um, eye sweat. It's not a second-hand unit, so hopefully no one's been playing on this. There we go, so confirm your position. 
Uh, adjust the position and angle of your PlayStation camera so that it fits your face in the frame. Am I seeing this in here as well? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it looks a lot clearer. So, okay, I need to move over there. The colour of the camera is inverted. So I see my okay headset there, okay. And here we go, this is the demo. Wow, that is cool. And it's um Yeah, you kinda get a you know good 3D effect as well, looking around. That works really well. Again, it's you know it's not really sharp. Um it kind of looks like some stuff slightly out of focus. But whether that's just kind of the resolution or what, I'm not sure. So we'll try with, um, we've got a few different things here. So Drive Club, I actually have that one as well, but I haven't installed it yet. So let's try the VR Worlds, which I think is the main demo. Um, obviously, you guys, you know, if you can see it over my shoulder on the screen here, um, you're not going to get any, any of the effect of actually um, experiencing it in virtual reality. So uh, we'll play it, okay. Some tweets being received in the background there. Sorry if you heard that. Popular tonight. Okay, what do you want me to do there? You must update the application to use network features. Oh dear, okay. Um, yeah, I don't want to use network features, that's fine. So I'm sure you can watch other YouTube videos and people, you know, actually play the games and give their full reviews and all that, but really this video is just meant to be a kind of initial impressions and uh, an unboxing and setup. So, uh, yeah, it's very cool. You see the ceiling and everything up there as well. We kind of get the um, VR Worlds logo right in front of me here with a, like a fiery globe in the background, so we'll begin. And again, I'm using the, uh, actually, that's awesome. If I hold the controller up, I can actually see a virtual PS4 controller in front of me. So, I mentioned before I haven't got the move and all that at the moment, which, you know, if I, if I kind of miss it and some games need it, then uh, I will end up getting one. Okay, what we're going to do here then? Uh, wildlife 2. I guess you have to do it in order. That was locked. And there's kind of a floaty ball thing in front of me here. And fish swimming around. Retrying. Hold down options to recenter yourself in the game world. Okay, look around you and enjoy the view. That's yeah, pretty cool. So this one might just be a, a demo, I'd imagine, rather than... Oh no, you can play it, here we go. Didn't know if it was just a, a demo or a game. Yeah, so this... It, again, you know, it's slightly blurry, but, you know, it's... Um, yeah, it's quite a quite a high, high quality picture, though. So I've read some things about the PS4 VR, and some people have told me that, uh, you know, it was, it's not quite high definition, it's... Um, and it, it's not very sharp, but actually... So I'm getting a bit overwhelmed with this world here. It does actually do the job really nicely. It's uh, probably not up there with the more expensive virtual reality headsets that you can get for PCs, but uh, yeah, it is an impressive, impressive bit of kit. Um, so imagine you guys are seeing it on the screen there. Yeah. So yeah, as you can see here, I'm kind of going into uh, under the sea, a crab there. You do get the impression that you're there. It is really immersive. It's. Uh, I imagine it will be even more so if I have my earphones in, so <laughs> I took those out for a moment. Let's put the earphones back in as well. I imagine this is probably the most boring video in the world, You're essentially just watching me play a game. Yeah, and it gives you that 3D audio that it mentioned. It's uh, you know, actually for cheap earphones, these are not, not bad at all. They go quite loud. Stingrays down there. So yeah, as an initial demo, really, really impressive. By the way, things kind of light up as well. Yeah, depending on where you face your headset, it's actually illuminated in front of you. And, uh, you know, the only other virtual reality headset that I've got at home is a Google Cardboard um, add-on for my phone, and I got quite motion sick on that, but this, it's a, it's a very slow-moving demo that I'm playing here, obviously, but, yeah, I'm, I'm not feeling any kind of... Not feeling nauseous or anything. It's uh, yeah, it's re really really smooth, and the frame rate's really nice on it too. Obviously helped by that add-on um, CPU. So 
So right, I think I'm going to enjoy uh, playing this for a few hours. So uh, that has been a setup and uh, little overall impressions, first of all, of the PlayStation 4 VR. Um, it's around 7 o'clock in the evening now, so I imagine the rest of my night is going to be taken up with this. Thank you for watching, guys, and uh, I will give you some further thoughts as I uh, get a bit more into the games in a future video. See you later.